Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and Ikoria is a couple days away. We'll be playing in the early streamer event on April uh, the 15th, that's the upcoming Wednesday. I'll be on around 1 p.m. Eastern on Twitch, be playing throughout the day, so if you can stop by, that'd be awesome. If not, all the videos will be up on YouTube afterwards. Um, so with the new set, we're brewing some decks. Obviously, these are all proof of concepts, some ideas I want to play around, or some of the common mechanics of the set. Um, so up for here is a Selesnia, so green-white. Uh, it is a Vigilance Matters deck, kind of Vigilance Tribal, uh, with some honorary cards. Um, so of note, we are playing Kahira uh, in the deck. We are not playing it as a companion. There's a couple creatures that I value in the deck that don't feed, uh, meet the requirements of companion. So... Kahira is a lord for cats, elementals, nightmares, dinosaurs, and beasts. So monster rancher elemental, uh, monster rancher lord. And particularly it gives plus one and vigilance. Um, so we do have a couple elves. I want paradise druid for ramp. We have a lot of four drops in the deck. And I have luminous broodmother. So whenever a creature you, uh, we control dies, uh, if it doesn't have flying, it comes back to the battlefield with a flying counter on it. So it's like board wipe insurance. Um, so to kind of walk you through the deck, we have a Boreal Grazer. It is a beast. It's a 0-3. Uh, with Kahira, it'd become a 1-4. It ramps us ahead, um, and it can be used in combination with some of our other spells afterwards. Uh, so we have Fiend Artisan. Um, so with Tarmopod, it's a Nightmare, so it triggers the ability. Its power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures in your graveyard. What's cool with the Vigilance is... It can attack, and then after the attack, you can sacrifice one of your creatures and then pod into something else. So go find something with converted mana cost uh, equal to X and put it onto the battlefield. Uh, we have a couple of Watley's Raptors. Um, we have some Planeswalkers that we can take advantage of the Proliferate, um, but it's more that's a two mana, two, three dinosaur with Vigilance built in. Um, so it's something I want to see how it works out. We have Kahira, stuff like that. Um, so it gets the pump. So this could effectively be a two mana, three, four vigilance each turn. Uh, that has some uh, upside. Paradise Druid helps us ramp into our other spells. Um, a couple March of the Multitudes. We have our, all our creatures have vigilance so they can attack in and then at the opponent's end step we can march for a lot. Uh, so it's kind of a way to play around the uh, vigilance. Uh, Frond, Frondland Felidar. Um, so this is kind of one of the payoffs of using stuff even like a Boreal Grazer early or having some big mana. Um, what you can do is you can attack with your turn and then use your creatures on your opponent's turn. They all have pay one and tap that creature to tap uh, an opponent's creature. So your Boreal Grazer can now uh, tap down your opponent's big creatures. So it's kind of like a Staxi style uh, creature control list. Um, we have Questing Beast, the Beast Daddy uh, gets the pump from Kahira. Uh, it has Vigilance built in, so there's a lot of synergies here. Um, we also have a couple Cavalier Thorns, it being an Elemental also works, gets us a head on ramp. Um, then we have Nisa, Nisa's tokens have Vigilance, so it works with the theme, can tap down as well, generate extra mana when we do the tap down. And then I have a couple of the Vivians, the new one, um, so it gives us card advantage, we can play cards off the top of our library if they're creatures. Um, we can create beasts uh, that either have Vigilance, Reach, or Trample. And then whenever you cast the next spell this turn, search your library for a creature card with CMC less than that card. Um, so it's kind of a tutor effect to kind of find some key pieces like that. Mana base wise, um, I should probably play maybe a Fable Passage or two. We'll see. I want to maximize the number of forests we have um, for Nisa. Uh, but we have some Castle uh, Garen Bridge, Arden Vale. And then we have uh, your Temple Gardens, Temple of Plenties, and a whole bunch of basics. The deck's pretty much base green with a splash of white. Um, so it didn't go too heavy on the white. Um, could probably play some Fable Passages, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I really want to curve out on the deck. And uh, just having Temple of Plenty come in would, as our only tap line would work. Um, so it's pretty much the deck. Let me know what you think. Um, with all these decks, as mentioned, they are proof of concepts. If I've missed anything, if there's any synergy, stuff like that. Uh, if you do have any deck lists, I do have a community page on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you drop the deck list there, take a look. I'm going to try to play some uh, uh, viewer decks as well, but also it's a good spot for the community to just come together and chat some, about some decks. 
Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy, and I hope to catch you uh, on Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by.